There's a massive gold rush going on right now in the entire blockchain space. You know, with cryptocurrency, with DeFi, you know, people have been watching their portfolios go up like crazy. And we're seeing an explosion of new applications that create brand new financial products on the blockchain. But there's another trend that's taking off right now that's also going to be really big. I made a prediction about this last year on my YouTube channel talking about how I thought this would be one of the next big things in blockchain. And it looks like that prediction has come true. So in this video, I want to talk about what it is and how you can jump on this trend while it's still early. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. So what is this massive gold rush that's going on right now? Well, it's with digital collectibles or crypto collectibles. So this is insanely hot. One piece of digital artwork recently sold for $750,000. This is just a few days ago. And one of the main reasons people are paying so much for these is because they're speculating on the value. They're basically buying it, anticipating that somebody else will pay more for it later. And because this space is so white hot right now, I think there's a ton of opportunity for you to launch your own crypto collectible project. Here's why. It's not that hard in the grand scheme of things to launch your own project with a new website and create a customizable collectible with just a little bit of technical savvy. You're launching something that people want to speculate on. They're willing to pay money because they want to get the price appreciation later. And it doesn't have anywhere near the same legal concerns as like creating your own cryptocurrency and launching it out in the wild. So I've personally built several crypto collectible projects as a blockchain developer. And I've had lots of other people ask me about this specific opportunity. So I'm going to hold a collectibles masterclass on Wednesday, February 24th. I'm going to show you how to create your own crypto collectible, customize it so that it's unique, and sell it live on the web and the blockchain. And you won't have to be an advanced coder or anything like that in order to take advantage of this opportunity. You just need to be technically savvy and be able to follow instructions. So sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. So crypto collectibles have been a thing for quite some time now. We saw crypto kitties come onto the scene at the end of 2017 and the big, you know, hype speculation mania. We also saw crypto punks before them. But they're starting to make a comeback. And I started to sense this towards the end of last year. People were talking about like, what's the next big thing after DeFi? Well, it looked like NFTs and crypto collectibles were one of those things. I'll talk more specifically about what an NFT is here in a minute. That's part of the bigger trend, I think. But collectibles are causing this to make a big comeback right now. So the project that has really blown up on the scene lately has been Hash Masks. So this is taking digital art and putting it on the blockchain with a lot of other amazing characteristics like the user being able to name the artwork and things like that. There's digital scarcity involved. That's how it gets its value. People are buying these, you know, anticipating the price to go up. And this was definitely one of the key players in this trend going up, at least having that inflection point where it's like, yeah, well, hey, this, this really is a thing right now. You know, I talked about one of the hash masks recently selling for $650,000 in Ether, right? So, you know, you can see more of them here listed on the OpenSea marketplace. You have another one listed for 666 Ether, you know, 4 Ether, 29 Ether. So th these things are selling for thousands and thousands of dollars per piece of digital artwork. And so why are people willing to, you know, pay these insane prices? Well, I, I talked about, you know, how they're speculating on these a lot of times, thinking that someone else will pay more for them later. But why would anybody pay money for them at all? Well, part of it's got to do with the digital scarcity. And that's one of the big benefits you get with blockchain technology. That's one of the reasons that cryptocurrencies can hold value is because they're digitally scarce. People are talking about Bitcoin, right? They're only being 21 million uh, Bitcoin in existence. Well, that's an example of scarcity. So, you know, for hash masks, there's only a total of, you know, 16,384 hash masks. Okay. So part of it is the scarcity of the entire collection, but also part of it's the scarcity of each individual hash mask itself. And that's what's driving the technology behind this is what's called a non-fungible token. So let me break that down, explain what it means, because it's a really important distinction when you're talking about a non-fungible token versus a fungible token, because that's exactly what these collectibles are, and they work differently from cryptocurrency. So let's define what a non fungible token is or an NFT. So let's focus on this word non fungible. All right. So before we get to the non part, let's talk about fungible. What does fungible mean? So think about a cryptocurrency, for example, like Bitcoin. Okay. So there's a maximum supply of 21 million Bitcoins. Let's just assume that there's 21 million Bitcoins right now circulating. There's not, there's 18 million, you know, so, so we'll use that number. So basically, of all the 18 million Bitcoins in circulation, it doesn't matter which individual Bitcoin you have, right? Bitcoin's scarce because it has a maximum total supply, but each individual Bitcoin, it doesn't matter if I have the first Bitcoin ever created or the last one that was just created, okay? We can trade those interchangeably because they're worth the exact same thing. That's what fungible is or fungibility, okay? So non-fungible is different. That means that you can't necessarily trade one token for another because they might be worth different amounts. 
You can think about it that way. You could also think about like each token having uh, an individual ID. So like token number one matters and token number 99 matters because the tokens all have a hierarchy among themselves. So some tokens might be worth more than another one, but they all still belong to this same class of token. So before you start thinking about collectibles and digital art, let's think about an example that you might want to represent with uh, an, a non-fungible token or something else that has non-fungible characteristics. So think about trading cards, for example. If you have Pokemon cards, then those all belong to the same class of cards. They're not Magic the Gathering cards. They're not baseball cards. They're Pokemon cards. So that would be like a type of token. But not every Pokemon card is worth the same. Some of them are rare. So if you have a holographic Charizard, that's way more important than some other just, you know, Know, run-of-the-mill Pokemon card. And for that reason, that individual card is scarce and it's more valuable than all the other cards out there. And you can see some here, you know, are listed uh, for really high prices depending on their condition. So the same type of thing can be applied towards these non-fungible tokens. You can have a class of tokens that all belong to the same category, like hash masks, for example, like hash masks on the whole might be worth more than crypto kitties on the whole, maybe because of their rarity. Uh, they might be worth more than CryptoPunks, or maybe people start to value CryptoPunks more because they're sort of an OG token. And they have different scarcity properties among the entire class of tokens, like there's only 10,000 CryptoPunks, whereas the hash masks have, uh, you know, let's say like 16,000. But then within each individual class, there are individual tokens that are more scarce than others. And that's why you might see people willing to pay more for an individual piece of digital artwork than some other one because they think it might have the most appealing characteristics and could be more rare than other ones. So how would you take advantage of an opportunity like this? Like what kind of technology would you need? Well, like I said earlier, like this is not that hard to create on the grand scheme of things compared to some other really complicated, you know, application or like trying to launch your own cryptocurrency where there'd be an insane amount of regulatory hurdles that you'd have to overcome. So, you know, first and foremost, you need a website, right? Because you'll see like a lot of the big um, crypto collectible projects have their own dedicated site that like, you know, talk about how the process works, um, you know, t tells you how many that are, exist, kind of give you an idea of the issuance schedule and lets you buy them on the site directly, as opposed to like buying them on some other marketplace. But eventually you want them to like get sold on third party marketplaces. That's the beauty of these collectibles. Once people buy them, they own them on the blockchain. They can send them around to a different wallet. They can sell them on a marketplace like this. That's how other people potentially make money off them in long on their long term. So you need to, you need an individual website. You need some sort of smart contracts. Okay, one to create the token, um, and then one to sell the tokens themselves. Basically, you'd be selling the tokens for Ether. So you'd have a smart contract that would accept Ethereum cryptocurrency or Ether, and it would act like a vending machine and dispense the tokens to other people. Okay. So um, that can all be customized based on a template. That's exactly what I'm going to show you inside the masterclass coming up in a few weeks. And so other than that, you just need some sort of custom artwork. So this could be artwork that you yourself could create. You could hire a designer to make some artworks for you. You could create some sort of automatically generated artwork that people think looks cool, but you don't have to create each individual piece. Or you could take digital representations of things people already know today, as long as you're not, you know, violating any kind of copyright infringements and things like that. Just anything where you could think people say, I want to own the digital copy of that, then you could potentially turn that into an NFT. So that's what I want to show you how to do inside of the collectible masterclass again. So make sure you sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. Again, you don't have to be super technically sophisticated in order to pull this off. You don't have to be an advanced coder. As long as you have some technical savvy and can follow step-by-step -step instructions, I'm going to do most of the work for you and then just show you how to customize it to launch your own project. So you have this website, you have the custom smart contracts. And then, you know, plugging in your custom artwork, you can take the stuff that I give you and use it as inspiration for yourself. Okay, so make sure you sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. And so that's why I think this is such a huge trend that's taking off right now. Again, I've been watching this space for a while. You know, these, we, we came on the scene with collectibles of crypto kitties and crypto punks. Uh, you know, way back in 2017, we're making a huge comeback with these hash masks that are selling for ridiculous amounts of money. All right, because people are speculating on them, they're buying them, uh, and you know, thinking that they're going to be able to sell them at a much higher price, especially because of the psychology of what's going on in this bull market right now. People are making a killing off of cryptocurrencies. They're making some other speculative bets in other areas. And thinking they can, you know, capitalize on those. And so th that's why it's such a crazy opportunity to create something like this, because the more people are willing to sink money into it, thinking that they're going to get a return maximizes the opportunity for you to satisfy that demand. And there's way less, you know, regulatory hurdles for this compared to something like launching your own cryptocurrency. Okay, so that's all I've got. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. 
Uh, if, if you want to get started today, like digging into this, like, you know, try to figure out how to write some of this code yourself. You're as fast at this technology as I am. Uh, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there, like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. If you like those videos, you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely. I can show you how to build a blockchain application step by step from start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, build your own project. You know, blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech right now. It's also one of the most exciting spaces in tech right now. I've helped people with zero programming background become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So, you know, make sure you sign up with the link down below. That's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.